Hi Taurus, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for February 2018. So before we jump in, I want to say thank you to my friends over at Hair Entourage for hooking me up with a cool piece to wear for you guys while I'm transitioning my natural hair to growing it out. So thank you very, very much. All of the details about Hair Entourage are in the description box down below. All right, Taurus, so this month, super cool stuff because I think you're going to get very, very social especially as we get towards the end of this month. And actually, I shouldn't even say the end of the month because it really kicks off February 10th. We've got Venus, your ruling planet, moving into Pisces, into your 11th house, joining Neptunian energy as well. This is a very fantasy-based energy. And while I don't think that this energy is phenomenal, especially at the end of the month with the connections for making really big, huge decisions, where it is so delicious this month is giving you inspiration, giving you this fantasy, giving you this space that's in between the worlds to chase something that you know is brewing beneath the surface, right? Something very, very creative. For some of you, it will be music, it will be children, it will be things with the elderly, it will be meditation, um, it could be any anything, uh, animals, right? This could be things that have to do with dance or creative arts, things like that. Because with all of this happening in the 11th house, but being in Pisces energy, we know that it's creative. We know that it is inspirational. We know that there's a fantasy element to it. Now here in the 11th house tells me you want to do this in groups, right? You want to get social. You want to be out there, whether it be on social media, um, in meetup groups or something like that. Or if you've even been wanting to find a new tribe, wanting to experience a new group Taurus this is the month to get that going get out there meet these people meet these groups and let your creativity come together with theirs now where this is also pointing me to is your long-range plans goals and dreams right this may be giving you a little bit of a chance to step out of the realm of what's practical and dream what absolutely could be right the last thing I will tell you I think that this energy is positively delicious for is having unconditional love, compassion, and just a new sense of delivery and being with your friends and people in your social circle. So if you've had any kind of conflict there, this could be a very soft, wonderful, forgiving energy. So make sure that you're taking advantage of the pleasure that this actually brings for us during the month, okay? Now, here's another possibility of things that just may come and happen this month, is we've got a solar eclipse happening this month, which is our new moon for the month. So we plant the seeds of intention at this solar eclipse, right? This is happening in the sign of Aquarius, right at the top of your chart, in your career house. This is a signal that you've got a brand new beginning, a brand new start to your status, your reputation, something that you're doing at work. This is a wonderful energy to put out something new, Taurus, right? You want to be known for something else? Do you have some unique talent that we know nothing about that you can go on ahead and launch out here to us? This is a wonderful time with the solar eclipse to watch it capitalize over the next six months. So use your uh, eclipse energy very, very well, okay? Now we've also got Mars and Sagittarius all month long, lighting up, giving space, giving heat, giving action, giving energy to your eighth house. So shared resources. It's time to get those taxes done. Maybe time to go over your books. Maybe time to look at your intimacy level with other people, right? This is a great time to dig and delve into the metaphysical arts. Anything that's occult, taboo, sex. I wouldn't even be surprised if your sexual interest or sensual interest don't rise up a little bit more this month. It's very adventurous. You want to know the truth of things. You maybe want to know the truth of your body, your mind, how this all works and fits together. It's a wonderful energy for investigating those things as well. Now I will tell you, as we get to the 17th of the month through the end of the month, leaning into the fantasy side to escape, to play, to create, to forgive, to do all of these things is delicious, but your communication may struggle just a little bit. On the 17th of the month, we're going to have Mercury moving into Pisces, okay? Now, this is going to join some Neptunian energy as well, but what this does is it puts Mercury in 
fall. Mercury is not comfortable in Pisces, right? The information is not clear. Mercury wants clear, crisp, clean cut communication and Pisces is very watery. It could be or it could not be. Mercury does not function well here. So from the 17th of the month, really until we close this month, you could see yourself having some communication frustration, but that doesn't mean shut the game down. It means all you would need to do is find a way to navigate around that energy. And how do you do that? Kind of lean into what the inspiration is, right? If somebody's talking to you, have compassion, have forgiveness, give them the benefit of the doubt. That's a wonderful way to use this energy and use it to find your new spiritual tribe. Because here's what Venus in Pisces is really about. And here's where Mercury in Pisces gets delicious as well, is you can really pull in a soulmate. This is soulmate energy and soulmates are not just romantic, Taurus. Keep that in mind. Your soulmate could be a friend you didn't even know you had coming. Your soulmate could be the person at the bookstore who just talks to you, talks to you for two minutes and all of a sudden you're lit up, you're inspired, you're ready to go. This is soulmate it's like the vacuum of soulmates. So you could really be pulling in somebody that you have a really nice connection with and it doesn't mean they stay forever, but it does mean that they light you up so that you can expand and move to the next place. That's what a soulmate does. They help us get better. They tend and help us match our soul's growth, right? Now, here's the other thing I do want to point out. It's February, which is my favorite month. We've got Valentine's Day. It's a very romantic energy. Venus is a very romantic energy, and you know all about that. So if you're single, I would say that this month, there is just this chance with Venus here in Pisces that you do pull someone in and things just take off. And you may even be surprised at how easy or comfortable they take off. Whatever it is, enjoy it, pay attention, um, do your best to watch those details. Because like I said, after the 17th of the month, you may not have everything as clear as it needs to be, but it doesn't mean run around being suspicious. It just means be careful. Now, if you are coupled up, I do think that this month is a phenomenal month for if you've got some grievances you need to put behind you, do it, talk them out, see your therapist, whatever needs to happen to move past where they're at and invite a little bit more intimacy to the table. At the same time, if you guys are in a good place, you may find out that this energy helps you to go to a different level of your feels, right? Have some different depth around your relationship for sure. And what that may look like for some of you is that you and your relationship, you and your partner need to also get a little bit more social together. So really good month. I think there's a lot of good things on the agenda for you. So let me pop some of these dates out here for you real quick. On the 10th, we've got Venus making that move into Pisces, also sharing energy here with Neptune. This is going to be rocking the 11th house. So friends, memberships, groups, social things, social media. It could be a time where you're very social media busy um, this month, Taurus. Now, when we get to the 15th, we're going to have this solar eclipse in Aquarius happening in your 10th house. This is strong and intense because the sun is not the only thing being eclipsed. Here we've got Mercury in the mix as well. So we've got a couple of planets in the mix asking for this new reset of doing something different. So new communication in the career space, new light, new heat, new vitality, shining new um, new space on your status and your reputation this month. When we get to the 17th, we've got Mercury moving into Pisces. On the 18th, we've got the Sun moving into Pisces. As well, on the 17th, we've got Mars in a square to Neptune. So that says my action is not exactly clear, right? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. So this is where I would tell you, Taurus, be sure you don't lose your temper, right? Throughout the rest of the month, the information may not be perfectly clear. You maybe even feel like doing something radically different and you kind of get uncomfortable. Don't use, lose your temper, okay? On the 21st, Venus and Neptune actually hook up, and this is a phenomenal day for romance. And remember, you can absolutely romance your children, a business project, whatever it is. It's about taking that loving, pure energy, that exciting, inspired energy, and turning it into something useful. On the 25th, we've got Mercury in alignment with Neptune. And on the 28th, we've got Mercury in a square to Mars. So this is where I say, with Mercury in fall, in these energies, you could see see yourself having a frustrating time communicating and if so just back off and try and come from it with one a lot of compassion two giving people the benefit of the doubt and three maybe from just a different perspective
I think it's going to be a great month. I look forward to seeing what happens for you socially and certainly what's going to heat up for you coming in your career. And that career will span just about over the six months, just depending on your chart, of course. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. Click in the description box down below. As well, my Astrology 101 class for March has been revamped. And so for this session only, you can take all five weeks for $50. So click in the description box down below, and I hope to see you at one of those events. And I'll definitely see you next month. Bye, guys.